Welcome to the uh, eight ball uh, match on Saturday at the Avalanche. Uh, the uh, the match is uh, sponsored by the Comox Valley Pool League, run by Rose Cantor, and the format today is eight ball on a skins format. So um, uh, the winner gets paid money after each uh, successful uh, win. Anyways. Uh, uh, the match uh, right now is between uh, uh, Rob Wright and Peter Su. Uh, Rob is a top five player and is fifth in the league right now. Uh, Peter is around 13. Anyways, uh, uh, Rob was taken out by a, a really good player named Matt. Um, he, he's pretty new, we've never seen him before. So, um, his, uh, and Peter was taken out by Greg Brown, his uh, practicing partner. Greg was very tenacious and uh, did not give up and totally deserved his win. Anyway, so uh, Peter is facing uh, Rob Wright's uh, race to three. Uh, Rob has a very powerful break and uh, unfortunately for him, nothing went down which gave Peter the chance to run out Rob. And uh, can Peter do it? Uh, probably not. Uh, he's about to make a pretty bad shot here. Uh, he, 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 he's going to put inside so he can slow the cue ball so he could get the uh, one, except he decided at the last minute to shoot a bit harder because he wanted the cue ball near the center of the table, but uh, he got mixed results. He didn't quite get an angle on the uh, one. And should he take the one to the side, he, there's a good chance he'll hook himself behind the eight. So uh, Peter will be forced to shoot the two ball, which is down on the bottom left, and um, get the uh, cue ball back to the middle of the table. The cue ball hits the six. Uh, so the only shot he can see is the uh, one ball. Now Peter could uh, shoot the uh, one with top, go off the rail, and get the cue ball back in the middle of the table, but uh, there's a good chance he may hook himself behind the eight, so uh, Peter elects to draw on the, uh, the one ball, and uh, unfortunately he misses. Uh, the draw is a pretty tough shot for Peter. Uh, his accuracy suffers, you know. Um, uh, anyways, Rob has the chance to run the table. Yeah. Well, Rob didn't quite uh, hit the cue ball hard enough. Uh, he doesn't have an angle on uh, any of the balls. Now, Rob could try to cut um, the 14, I believe, to the side. But should he miss, Peter would have a good run of the table. And um, I suppose Rob could try to cut the 15 in. But uh, he will go for the bank, and it's a two-way bank. Uh, should Rob miss, uh, the, the cue ball would go up table and possibly hook Peter. Peter can still see the one, but it's a long distance uh, cut, and Peter needs um, to hit it with uh, the approx the appropriate uh, speed and weight. The, uh, the challenge is to get the, the one in and not worry about position. And uh, this he does. Almost. He almost missed. Uh, I, I think Rob knows this is a sewer shot because um, he pretty well predicted it. Uh, Peter was hoping uh, he'd get lucky, but uh, no such luck. Peter sues. Anyways, uh, Rob has a free run of the table. The, uh, the, the only problem balls are the 14 and the, uh, I believe that's the 11, uh, stuck to the right side of the rail. Uh, Rob is taking the 11 right out, which is wise. Uh, those are bad balls, and he needs to get rid of them as fast as he can. 
and he must attend to the 14 uh, soon. Uh, he's going to clear the 9, and that'll give him a shot on the 14 to the top top corner. Very nice controlled shot. And uh, I think Rob is going to posi position himself for the 14 in the shot. Uh, yes, he does. That, that's a lot of uh, distance, but uh, Rob's a really good player, so um, that shouldn't be a problem for him. I, actually, I think Rob's going to go for the uh, 15 and bring the cue ball over, across the table for the uh, 14. And uh, it's game over for Peter in game number one. Very nice run out. Uh, Rob is uh, currently ranked number five in the league, in the uh, Winter League, and uh, I believe Peter is number 13. So, so, uh, so Rob would be going to Penticton and Peter ain't. Anyways, uh, game number two, Peter gets to break. And no notice, uh, uh, Peter's improved his break a lot. Uh, uh, the trick is to um, hit the center of the ball and what Peter's doing is uh, aiming at the uh, the bottom of the ball the, the part where, where, where the cue ball touches the uh, table and he aims for that spot even, even though when he's uh, uh, when he's actually shooting he doesn't he, he uh, the, the cue tip lifts up slightly to hit the center of the ball and uh, that allowed Peter to have a pretty more powerful sh shot. Anyways, uh, this should be a good, easy run out table for Peter. Um, he's gonna get rid of the, um, I believe that's a 14, looks like a 14. Uh, to the bottom right corner. And he puts a bit of top so he could see the the uh, the ball by the rail. And Peter, uh, actually, come to think of it, now that I think of it, uh, Peter should be taking the thirteen, but in in instead he's taking the nine, which is a bit dumb because uh, he's about to lose position on the 13 and he did and uh, he's way out of line now he even he, if he gets the 13 he'll be uh, it'll be tough for him to get position on the 8 so uh, Peter manages to get in the 13 but in doing so he doesn't have a shot well uh, the only shot available to him is the bank on the 8 and Peter is not known for his banking, so let's see how he does. Oh, well, Peter got lucky. Peter ain't that good. Anyways, uh, score is tied at 1-1, uh, and Rob is going to break. Notice, notice uh, Rob's very powerful break. Normally, uh, if Rob gets a ball in, it's pretty well game over because he will run the table. Uh, the only problem with this uh, layout is the uh, 10 ball is uh, s uh, stuck behind the uh, 7 and the uh, 4 and Rob needs to break out the ball. And I think Rob already knows this. And is this the angle to do it? And uh, Rob decides uh, he's not going to do the breakout right now. What he'll do is take out the uh, nine, which by itself is a pretty bad ball. So uh, he's got the angle on the nine, so he'll take it, uh, which is a very, very wise decision. And now he will take the 13 and the 14, I believe, and leave the, uh, the breakout till the... Uh, 
last moment. Uh, normally, the general wisdom is to uh, to do the breakouts very early. That's where you have uh, insurance uh, shots. Uh, should you uh, run all the easy balls down, and 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 the breakout goes bad, then uh, you you will have no uh, shot. Anyways, but uh, Rob's confident enough that he can uh, run out these balls and not worry about uh, having insurance balls around. Okay, uh, here's a very nice shot. Uh, Rob's is going to take the 14 and stun the uh, cue ball into the rail, giving himself a very nice position on the uh, 15. And in this shot, he will break out the 10 with very clean, very clean hit. Gorgeous shot. He will uh, take the 10 and get position on the 8. He, Rob makes everything look so easy. Great shooting, Rob. Uh, the score is 2 to 1 for Rob. Anyways, this is uh, game uh, number four. Uh, the score is uh, <laughs> two to one for Rob. And Peter is going to go for his uh, improved break. Hopefully, he will not sewer or anything like that. And he does. Peter sewers. And uh, Rob gets ball in hand from the kitchen. Uh, just looking at the table, um, uh, high ball has a bad ball on the rail. I think that's a 15 on the left middle pocket. So um, uh, low ball has uh, a bad seven on the one and the two, but uh, he he can use the five ball to break out. So I think Rob will take the uh, low balls. Uh, well, first he's going to take a look to see whether he'll get rid of the uh, bad um, 15. But um, he, he decides uh, maybe uh, low ball is better. So he will shoot the 4 and see the 5. And use the 5 to break out the... Uh, the two ball, I believe. Very nicely done. Except uh, Rob might have uh, hooked himself. The only clean shot he can see is the six, but uh, uh, the six may be blocked by the uh, five. So, so I think Rob might go off the rail and off the five into the corner, and he doesn't quite do it. Okay, so Peter has the table. And uh, uh, the balls are pretty well spread out, except for the uh, uh, the stupid 15 on the rail, the, the bad ball that uh, Peter's going to try to take out now. But um, he Peter misses and uh, gives Rob a shot at the table. Uh, uh, Rob needs to uh, break out the uh, one and the seven. Um, he didn't quite kick into it, but um, Rob's going to go for the five into the corner, and uh, the five clips the uh, clips a high ball. Well, uh, no, nobody's going anywhere in this uh, layout. Uh, there's too many bad balls, so... Um, okay, so uh, there's a big problem, the uh, 9 and the 13, which is uh, sn snuck up next to the 1. And the, the 8 ball is blocking everything, so... Uh, Peter needs to think this out. 
uh, he, he needs to get rid of the uh, 13 and 9 uh, so he'll need he'll, he'll have to figure out how to do it meanwhile he'll take out the 10 try to get position on something and he fails the, the only shot that's left is the uh, 14 to the corner but it's a very tough uh, low percentage shot so uh, Peter will elect to uh, do a safety here. He's going to try to hide the cue ball behind the 9 and the uh, 13 and uh, hook. Go for the hook. Uh, this he does nicely except the cue ball doesn't quite uh, stick to uh, the 13. So Rob has a clear shot into the rail and into the 7. And um, Rob leaves the cue ball down all the way down the table and uh, there's a good chance Peter will uh, give Rob a good shot at his balls, especially the six. So the six is really dominating the table. It's very hard to uh, hook Rob with that ball. So, so Peter's going to go for the nine, a soft shot on the nine, kick the... Uh, kick the nine away from uh, the cluster and toward the pocket leaving Rob no shot and this is successfully done I, I think Rob might, might try a combination or something like that maybe, uh, maybe the five into the side pocket Uh, Peter still got a very bad ball, the 13, which is right next to the uh, the 8. Uh, so there's only one pocket for it, and the cue ball has to be in the precise... Oh, uh, Rob's going to jump. He's going to jump. Okay. The, the jump went bad. The cue ball sued. And uh, Peter... Uh, here's a chance for Peter get, to get rid of his 13. But uh, uh, indecision strikes Peter. Uh, normally, uh, his first instinct is to roll the uh, cue ball uh, on the 13 and see the 9. That should clear him, uh, you know, to, to run out the table. But for some reason, he, he wanted to <laughs> uh, put bottom on the cue ball and draw it into the rail. But the, uh, the draw went funny. So he didn't quite get the cue ball into the rail. So he's forced to um, shoot the 13 into the side, but uh, Peter screwed himself. Uh, he doesn't really have a shot. I, I suppose he could try a combo, but um, uh, if the con combo doesn't go, uh, Peter screwed. So and there's no way to do. Uh, uh, any hooks in this position so uh, P Peter's going to shoot the uh, 14 and try to snuggle up the cue ball next to one of Rob's balls maybe the one or something and uh, uh, hopefully Rob won't be able to see a pocket but uh, Peter shoots a bit too hard I think and instead of the cue ball snuggling against uh, one of Rob's balls, he actually gives Rob a good clean shot on the three. Uh, now uh, Rob needs to get the cue ball back. He's going to do a bottom left and um, try to see the seven. Unfortunately, the cue ball snuggled against the seven. Rob is going to do a safety. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work. Peter can see the nine. Now, now it's a fairly steep cut for Peter, and Peter needs to hold the cue ball near the upper part of the table. So he's going to put a lot of inside. But uh, uh, when you do a lot of inside, you, you need to compensate for the uh, cut, and Peter doesn't quite compensate enough. He uh, he uh, undercuts. Uh, well, Rob has a shot either on the 7 or the uh, 1. 
Um, Rob's going to go for the seven, but there's a good chance that the uh, cue ball's going to go off the eight and into the top right corner. I think uh, Rob knows this, but he, he's hoping maybe... Um, uh, he's hoping he might get lucky. Uh, I suppose he could take the one, but uh, he may not see the seven after he's shooting the one. So he's going to go for the seven right off the top. And Rob Sewers, very unfortunate. Peter got very lucky. Uh, the question is right now is uh, which ball, the 9 or the um, 14, I think that's a 14. Uh, and Peter has to get good angle on the 8 after shooting these two balls down. So uh, Peter decides the uh, 14 is the, uh, the bad ball because um, he can't really see too many pockets. So he will go for the side. And uh, use the nine to get position on the eight. And um, so he's going to stun the uh, cue ball into the rail and overshoot a bit. That's not the ideal angle because right now there's a good chance he may hit the uh, one ball. Uh, the the uh, the eight is definitely cuttable, but. Um, they are so close that uh, they decided uh, using a referee is a good idea. And uh, Peter looks at the shot. It's it's easy enough, but uh, but the chance there's a chance of undercutting because psychologically we we try to avoid the uh, the one ball. So Peter's going to shoot with a very slight amount of right spin. The shot is good. Uh, the score is now 2-2. Uh, uh, both Rob and Peter are on the hill. They bump fists and Rob gets the break and Rob He's going to use his fabulous break. All the balls are all over the table, very clean, very open. And whoever, uh, well, if, 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 if Rob had sunk a ball, he would have won automatically. There's no way he'd not run out this table. But the, uh, unfortunately for him, it's tr also true for his opponent. Uh, that, um, the, the high balls are very, very... Uh, Cleanly distribute, distribute. There's no no bad balls anyway. Uh, maybe except for the 14. The 14 will need a bit of uh, thought. So Peter will try to um, attend to the uh, 14 later. Okay. Here's a bit of a trap. P Peter, uh, well, actually he's setting himself up for the, uh, the 12, I think. He was going to shoot the 12 first. Then he realized, hey, the, uh, the 15 by the top left corner, it's, it's actually a bad ball because it's screened by the uh, one. There's a good chance he'll hook himself should, should he uh, uh, try for the 14 on the bottom. So he needs to get rid of the um, the 15, the other top left, right off the bat, and use that to create a angle for the 12. And uh, using the angle on the 12, we will see the 14 on the bottom of the table. Okay, Peter got the angle. He, he almost got it too straight, but. Um, now Peter will shoot the uh, 12 and the cue ball should go bounce off the rail and give himself a nice shot on the 14, which he does. 
Now Peter will try to uh, draw back and so he could see the uh, 8 on the side pocket. Unfortunately, the cue ball hit the uh, 5, so Peter loses the side pocket, but uh, there's still a good chance for the uh, corner pocket. Well, well, Peter takes game number three and the match.